Welcome to uh, Crossing Borders, I guess. So we started our journey in Shenzhen and we came in normally through the airport as we live in Shanghai. So we came down to Shenzhen, no problem with immigration, so it was a domestic flight. So crossing over from Shenzhen into Hong Kong was super easy. So we got a taxi directly from Dapeng to Lohu and the taxi driver took us straight to the point in which uh, we got signs directly to Hong Kong. So we're going to follow the signs directly to Hong Kong and see what we have to do on the border crossing. They checked out my passport, they stamped it as if I'm leaving China and as I walked through to go into the immigration part for Hong Kong. I had to fill out an immigration form. This form is very small and very standard if you've uh, done much traveling at all. Or usually if you've done, just left your country, you, this is probably a very standard form that you have to fill in, just like your passport details, your name. The only thing you really have to remember is your hotel address. So make sure you've got that on hand so you can type it on your immigration form. Now this immigration form I really liked because it's small and it fits inside my passport. Sometimes the immigration forms are a little bit bigger and don't always fit inside your passport. And then they gave me a little slip of paper. And this was my visa. And this told me how long it is I was allowed to stay in Hong Kong. And it's so very important, don't lose that because your visa, it's not a sticker and it's not a receipt. It's a very small piece of paper that obviously fits inside your uh, passport, but it also feels like it's easy to lose. So make sure you don't lose your visa as you're coming through. I wasn't obviously allowed to film myself as I passed over the border, uh, so I've only got a little bit of footage, but everything was very well labelled, very well, uh, so it was very easy for, me, for us to find our way on where it is that we have to go. And then we took a metro, a fantastic metro. I think in the end it cost about 60 uh, Hong Kong dollars, but double check that, it cost 60 Hong Kong dollars from the start of that metro all the way down to basically uh, Admiral Admiralty station for where it is that we were staying. We've had a fantastic time here in Hong Kong and now we are on our way to Macau. Now there are several ways you can cross from Hong Kong to Macau. They have a very long famous bridge which we kind of saw whilst we was on Lantau Island going up the cable car uh, but we're not taking that way so that way you can take by coach but we're going by foot by ferry or turbo jet ferry or turbo jet boats one of those two <laughs> i can't remember the name the price of the ticket is about 240 hong kong dollars per person and should take us uh, straight across in i'll let you know when i'm on the other, pit, other side How super uh, super quickly and super easily the boat was uh, an hour ride it was very quick it was very smooth no problems there however it was 190 HK dollars I said before 270 is 190 HK dollars uh, for the turbo jet to shoot across to Macau and uh, once we got into uh, Macau immigration it was very simple I just showed my UK passport I didn't need any other forms of documentation and I got straight in uh, they gave me a small piece of paper that I guess is my uh, visa, my entry, and how long it, it states how long I'm allowed to stay here. So that is my uh, visa card. Again, no stamp. We always like to collect stamps on our passport, but this one, uh, we didn't get a stamp. And then we got let through and we could enjoy our time in Macau. time here in Macau and now we're heading back to Shenzhen and then we'll be crossing back into what I'm assuming will be uh, Chinese immigration entering mainland China and for that we we'll definitely need to make sure I have my visa very, uh, all organized and prepared. When I was coming out to uh, leaving immigration for Macau which it happens as we're entering the boat uh, they didn't take it they didn't even look at it uh, so I managed to keep the small piece of paper I guess I don't want to lose it because it I, I guess it would allow me to enter again, not that entering seems to be a problem anyway. 
So yeah, they just looked at my passport, typed in some information, uh, checked my visa for China, and uh, it got through pretty easy. So now we're gonna take the boat to Shenzhen. the boat well, it was about an hour journey from Macau here to Shukou, Shenzhen. A very easy journey once we get off the boat it's very well laid out the immigration part is very close we didn't have any particular luggage to collect so it's pretty much walking straight through. You will have to fill out an arrivals card when you get here the most important information you need to really remember that you won't have on hand maybe is your hotel address. Wherever you're staying here in Shenzhen or wherever if you're going from Shenzhen to somewhere else, whatever you you will just need an address on there for wherever it is you're going to be staying in whichever city. Otherwise, you won't be able to get through. But other than that, it was very simple. I had my Chinese visa in my passport already, so that wasn't an issue. It was just about filling out the arrival card, showing him. Asked uh, he asked me one simple question, and that's like, uh, I do I work here in China? It's like yeah, I work here in Qinshan, and yeah, you're through. <clears throat> there was absolutely no problem getting through any of these borders. It was all really simple and really quick. Coming from uh, crossing over on the train to Hong Kong, uh, super easy, super quick, not busy at all. The boat to Macau, not busy, a little, a little busy, but not overly busy, very quick. And coming back to Shenzhen, not busy, busy at all, very quick. So. These, these crossing methods are fantastic, especially in such a small area. I highly recommend coming uh, through these routes if you're in this area. Obviously, if you have to fly in, you've got to fly in. Uh, but yeah, absolutely easy getting through. You just need a hotel information, a hotel address for Hong Kong and Shenzhen, and that's about it. Other than that, it's pretty much just your passport, depending on any visa situations you may need, depending on which country you're from. As a UK citizen, I only needed a visa for China and the Hong Kong Macau, I just needed my passport. It's always nerve wracking crossing borders, making sure you've got the correct documentation and not fully knowing what, is, what to expect. But if this information has helped in any way, please like and subscribe. Anyway, as we say in China, bye bye. Okay.